What's up everyone? I'll be installing the Rolls Royce Star Lights in my 2013 F3335Y. Here's a before shot. And like a normal ceiling. So I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the headliner, install the lights, and do all the connections to the battery, installing the inverter, and putting everything back together. So let's get started. Start by removing these handles on each side. There are four of them. And you need like a pick tool to pick and Pry the plastic piece out on both sides. So I made like a, a bent screwdriver for this. If you have a pick tool, that would work great. So all you need to do, just take a pick tool or like a uh, driver and just shove it in there. And it will just come up. Simple as that. And all you do is just keep on gently, keep on pulling it out. You can even do it from the bottom. And this comes up. Take the other one out. Same thing. Put it in the tab. Shove it in there and pull it out. It's a, it's a clip down there and you need two flathead screwdrivers to take this off uh, so you see this this thing right here this so one, this one at the bottom and this one at the top so what you do put a screwdriver in there and pull it up and you do the same thing with the top one so you put it in the top one just like that and you pull it down just like that so there's one there's another screwdriver so once you squeeze both of them, so basically you just squeeze them together. Once you squeeze them and just gently wiggle it, the whole thing. And it will just pop up. Just like that. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Once you squeeze them, they should just come right up. Alright, so next step, let's remove this. So all you need to do, um, there's a little tab right here. Just pry that open. So this comes up. And you guys need a, a T20. It's down there. Another T20. So once you remove both of the screws, they should just come out just like that. Be careful to figure out a wire connected to it. So first need to remove that. Take the light off, it's pretty simple, just pop it out, and again, it's a little plug, so you'll see right here, alright, in order to take this off, uh, there are two clips, you know, this one right here, and one right here, so what you need to do is take a flathead, uh, shove it down there, just like that, and just pull it out. Alright, so it's stuck as far right here. And you do the same thing with the other side. So 
after you remove those clips, this thing will just come down just like that. And there are a bunch of cables connected to it, so you just unplug the, this, that, and this thing right here, and this thing will be up. Alright, so let's take this piece off. Oh, it's in the back. It's pretty simple. Just put your hand in the back and just pry it open. It just pops up. And there's a clip down there. You can disconnect. So next, we need to take the padding off from the seats. From both sides, from right here. And right here. Alright, so after that we can just pull this padding out, just grab it from the back and start prying it. Just like that, and you can just put it aside. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Just gently grab it from the back, and slowly pry it. Just like that. Alright, so now we need to take these plastic pieces out from the back of the car. That one and this one. Right, before taking the plastic piece out, we need to uh, get this molding out of the way. Just gonna pull it out from right here. You, need, you don't need to take the whole thing out, just like just a little bit from the top. And now, what we need to do is start prying it. Somehow, get your hand behind this panel. Kind of hard, but once you get it, you just pull it out. You'll hear these two clips crack coming out. Another one, and what you need to do now is slide it forward, just like that, and it'll just come up. After everything is removed, you can start prying the headliner then by little. So there, it will be held on by a couple of clips. So just be gentle with it. Don't end up damaging it, so it just need to be careful. And you can just keep on prying it the whole bit. All right, I finally got it out. Uh, the easiest way I found was to get the headliner down and sideways, so bring it out this way to the door, diagonally, just like that. And there was enough space for that. You might have to bend it up a little bit, but don't worry, it's not gonna damage it, as long as you don't kink it a lot. So just be, uh -huh. just be careful before you putting it down. And it's sitting right there. I got it out carefully with no damages, nothing. And about the light right here, you guys have to take it off after you drop the headliner a little bit. So after you drop it, you will see two metal clips and there'll be another wire plug down there. You just gotta unplug it and unclip it and then you do it'll just come down. Alright, so I'm gonna also attempt to do the sunroof part two. So what you do is open the sunroof, sunroof all the way up and push this thing all the way down in the back, I mean. And you'll see these plastic clips. What you do is just pull them down and slide it back. I did it on the back side too. So it will just slide out just like that. Hey okay, guys, so I got two bundles of lights. Uh, this one is for the main headliner. But uh, I think we have about 450 pieces and this one is about 200 so what I did so far I just made it separate so it doesn't get tangled and all that and made like uh, a bunch of bundles so I'm gonna start with the sunroof first alright guys so I just made like uh, random dots everywhere as template um, I believe they're about 130 or 140 uh, I still have like 60 70 left so I'm probably gonna make a milky way right in the middle of it um, if I can do it, that would be pretty cool. And if not, I'm um, probably gonna just randomly put it in the empty spaces. Alright, so after drilling all these holes, um, here I kind of tried to make it a milky way, but it didn't really work out, so I'm just gonna cancel that. 
So I just drilled random holes and now I'm just fishing the fiber optics in. And I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so this is what the sunroof looks so far. Um, what I basically did, I made like three bundles. Um, glued them right here in the end. I did have to chop off the, the um, sunroof a little bit. It's, uh, it's fiberglass, so it's pretty easy to cut it off. That. And so basically made three bundles. Uh, fished them in. Put a dab of hot glue everywhere. Looks pretty clean. It's not coming up, coming out and cut the ends of it so that's what it looks so far all right guys so i just put the sunroof back on um so that's what it looks so far looks pretty cool um so here's the actual thing so i'm gonna find a way to mount it up somewhere here where it doesn't touch the sunroof and it opens all the way back probably just gonna hot glue it up there put some uh, duct tape or like aluminum tape and do the wiring from Probably near the right side airbag, all the way down right there to the back of the car. Alright, so it's time for the main roof. Um, what I first did, I cleaned all the dust off so all the, the hog glue would stick on it properly. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a small precision screwdriver, just like that. And I'm going to make holes in the headliner where I'm going to fish the fiber optic in. That's it. So this is what it looks like so far. Uh, it started by leaving like access amount and basically hot glue area right here to make it strong. Um, after that, I basically fished out fiber optic in different areas, mostly in the middle, and just hot glue the back of it. Fish to the bottom, cut the axis, keep on doing the same thing. I hot glued it to the bundles right here too for excess support. Yeah. So before they were like this much length, which is pretty long. Um, I snipped them short a little bit while I was working on it. So right now, what I'm gonna do is make them flush with the headliner. So basically. It. So I have about like 450 of them to do. So I'll do it right now and I'll show you guys how it looks. So this is how it looks so far. So the um, the lights I got has a cool I mean, animation. Not like animation, but like a feature that may kind of make it look like it twinkles. It has four different speeds too, so that's how it looks so far. That's pretty cool. Alright, so for the sunroof, I left enough fiber optic so I can open and close the sunroof. And I mounted a light somewhere about here. Uh, I just kind of forgot to film it, but I have mounted it with hot glue and aluminum tape. And for the main headliner, I rotted the entire fiber optic from this pillar in the back. And you can see the little light down there. And from that, it goes all the way to the trunk. And triggers right about there. I had to drill a hole. And for this, I'm probably just gonna mount it just like that. Right now I just connected to the like, power cable but I'm gonna get an inverter for it and the inverter I can just connect it to a battery over here and that'd be all. Alright guys so after putting everything back together this is what it looks like came out great
It is RGB, so I can do any color I want. Just got the remote. So we got. Same for this. And also put everything back together, do the door handles, the visors, um, the modules, everything, the lights, 